Hey everybody, it's me, Dr. Phil. How y'all doing? Oh, come on folks, how you all doing? I am doing great during this COVID crisis because I'm rich and people always do better when they're rich in these global nightmares, believe me. Now, the important thing during this lockdown, stay at home thing is I am still on TV. It's tough right now for you, but like I always say, you gotta do the hard times so you can enjoy the fun times. Now, I also say you can put a kimono on a squirrel, but it still won't speak Japanese. Who knows what that means? I have no idea, but people eat it up. What you put up with, you end up with. That is why today I want to talk directly to COVID-19. Hey, COVID, what the heck are you? A germ, a flu, a virus, a Nerf ball with zits? What is your deal? Are you from a wet market or from a lab? Or are you from a wet market inside of a lab? Now, I believe half the solution to any problem lies in defining it. Now, for a virus, you are all over the place. Some people get really sick. Some people barely get sick. Some people die. And some people do not get sick at all and are asymptomatic. You are living inside of people and you are doing nothing. That is plain lazy. You call yourself a worldwide pandemic, but your death rate stinks. More people die smoking cigarettes in a pool while having a car accident in a year than you put in a grave. You are not doing your job. Over 140,000 people recovered from you in the U.S. Recovered. That's a lot of people walking away from you. How's that working out for you? I'm starting to think that you are not as bad as you think you are. You are just confused. You need to ask yourself, hey, who am I? You need to take responsibility for your life and settle down. And another thing, you are far too promiscuous. You're lonely because you are not there for you. You just jump from person to person, package to package, counter to counter. You are definitely not the sharpest virus in the shed, okay? Countertops don't get sick. Stop wasting your time on inanimate objects that can never host you for more than a few hours. You're never going to find happiness there. Now look, this isn't my first rodeo. You just want to be loved so bad you're willing to infect anyone. Now this shows low self-esteem. That's why you are going in all these different directions. You have to choose who and how you want to make somebody sick because honestly, you don't seem like the global pandemic everyone is crying about to me. You are just not cutting it. You are misguided and you're trying to keep up with the other 18 COVIDs that came before you. I want you to start living your life like a flu, a seasonal flu. And you as a flu, you can be as lazy as you want. You don't have to put someone on a ventilator. That takes a lot out of you, okay? You can just make them feel crappy for a couple of weeks. Does that sound like a better plan for you to take on? Hmm? You know what I always say, the best predictor of future behavior is past behavior, except in this particular case. But COVID-19 never allows someone else to define you based on how they perceive you. And if you need to talk to me, I'm right here, okay? Look, if I can straighten out Britney Spears, I can straighten out you.